Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at an introduction to 3D coordinates so we can answer questions from exercise 12a. So this is a real quick introduction. So for 3D coordinates we need three elements inside uh, a pair of brackets. So we've got the x component, the y component and what we're going to also call the z component. If we were to draw a pair of axes that um, demonstrate how this works it's going to have an x coming out um, towards you on the left hand side, a y axis coming out towards you on the right hand side, and then this time the z axis is going to be um, going upwards. So the x and the y axis are effectively flat on the table, and you can see here that if you orient yourself um, from this side looking down, you'll see that the y axis is going up and the z axis is, so x axis is going to the right on your table, and then the z axis is going to be coming back up out at you. Okay, so for example, um, a coordinate in three dimensions could be th four, two, five. So four on the x coordinates, two on the y coordinates, and five on the y coordinates. How will this look? Well, it will look like four on the x coordinates, two on the y coordinates, and five on the z coordinates. And what we're looking for here in this question here is to find the distance to the origin between this position here and the origin. So in this case here we can use a bit of 3D Pythagoras' theorem to work out the distance um, to the coordinate 2, so 4, 2, 5. And the formula for 3D Pythagoras is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Um, sometimes people overcomplicate it and try to put a cube root in here. It's not the case. It's just a bog standard square root with x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And you can calculate this to be 6.71. So that's how you effectively work out the modulus of a 3D coordinate. x squared plus y squared plus z squared, all square rooted. Okay, find the distance between two coordinates in three dimensions now. So we've got one coordinate starting at 1, 3, 4, and another coordinate starting at 8, 6, minus 5. And the first thing for us to do is to work out how we get from A to B. And the classic way of doing that is to work out how we, uh, is to calculate the coordinate for B minus the coordinate for A. So it's B coordinate take away A coordinate, and we get 7, 3, minus 9. You can effectively see here, how do you get from 1 to 8? You add 7. How do you get from 3 to 6? You obviously add 3. And how do you get from 4 to minus 5? You'll have to subtract 9. So you can do it that way as well. Um, and then we just need to use 3D coordinate um, Pythagoras. So 7 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 9 squared will give us um, the modulus of AB, which is square root of 139, to one decimal place, that's 11.8. Okay, so that's how we work out distances using Pythagoras' theorem. A slightly trickier question here, the coordinate A and B, A is at 5, 0, 3, and B is at 4, 2, K, respectively. The distance from A to B is 3 units. Work out the possible values of K. So what we're going to do then is we're going to use the direction vector from A to B, the way we work that out is by doing b take away a, and in this case here we're going to get minus 1, 2, k minus 3. And then we're going to use a bit of 3d Pythagoras and set this equal to um, 3 because the distance is a unit of 3. So we'll expand the brackets and we get this thing here, k squared minus 6k plus 14. Set the modulus of this equal to 3, <coughs> or the distance of it equal to 3. And now we just have to rearrange a quadratic equation here. So let's, um, let's get rid of the square roots, so square both sides. So it's 9 equals k squared minus 6k plus 14. Subtract the 9 and factorise k minus 5, k minus 1, and find the values of k. k is 5 or k is 1. Okay, so the key to this problem here was to do some 3D Pythagoras um, just using the distance between the coordinates A and B. It doesn't matter that there's a K in there, you keep the K in there and then set your answer equal to 3 in this case or however long the distance between the two coordinates is. 
All right then, your turn to have a go at this question here then. Very similar to the last question that we've just done. Um, pause the video and try this one out. Okay, so let's have a look at how we get from A to B. The way we get from A to B is by doing position B take away position A. So it's going to be K0 minus, so K04 take away 7 minus 1, 2. And in this case here, we're going to get k minus 7, 1, and 2. And now what we have to do is now find the modulus from a to b. We know that this is equal to 3, but it's also equal to the three-dimensional Pythagoras distance for this question here between a and b. So plus 1 plus 4. So this is going to equal the square root of k squared minus 14k plus 49 plus 5 equals 3. Okay, let's get rid of the square root now by squaring both sides. So it's going to be 9 equals, and then whatever's inside the square root brackets, uh, minus 14k plus 49 plus 5. Let's subtract 9 from both sides now, so this is going to give us k squared minus 14k, and then it's going to give us plus 40. So then, now we just need to solve a quadratic equation, you either use your calculator or try some brackets. Um, so I think in this case here it's going to be k minus 10 and k minus 4. So in this case, we get two answers, a value of k equals 10 and a value of k equals 4. There we are then. So have a go at some of the questions from exercise 12a. It's going to get harder later on in the chapter, so make sure you're good at the basics before moving on. Thanks very much for watching.